All right, let's take you to Cairo now, where CGTN's Adele Mahrui is standing by to give us more details. Uh, Adele, what was the reaction from Egyptians after Mubarak's release? Well, have you seen in the, in the report, um, it is a sort of mixed feeling. There was something that we've noticed. <clears throat> we talked to many people on the street, and many did not want to comment. Some were afraid that they might be critical uh, of Mubarak's release and that would have um, some legal responsibilities on them. So there is a, a sense of fear among those who were against Mubarak to speak out um, at this time. But at the same time, those who support Mubarak are relieved that the former president has been um, acquitted, that there are no charges standing against him right now, despite that he was convicted in one corruption case. But to, th to them, it's a great achievement and a great victory that um, their favorite uh, president is now a free man. Now, Adele, following his release, does this now mean that there are no pending cases against the former president, and is he indeed a free man? Yes, he's, he definitely is not required to be in provisional detention for any court case. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is one case that Mubarak is only a benefactor uh, in it. There is a, a big corruption case from Al Ahram organization, which is a state-owned uh, newspaper, um, through which there were millions of pounds every year paid in terms of gifts to officials, and they were distributed um, just directly as um, the CEO of the organization wished. Uh, back then, uh, the former president used to get uh, gold bars, expensive watches, sometimes vehicles. Um, so he is not there for doing anything wrong, but for receiving the gifts. And therefore, um, um, as I said also, he's very likely not to be involved in any um, conviction. Only those in administration of Al-Ahram organization would. Um, putting that aside, um, the final thing that is going on, there is an investigation going on for corruption uh, cases, for corruption investigation for, uh, against um, the uh, um, uh, Hosni Mubarak, the former Egyptian president. Now, so far, the prosecution has not reached any concurrent or any solid um, evidence that would convict the former president. But the investigation is not over yet, which means that there is still a chance that a new court case could be filed against him. Adele, thank you very much for that update. CGTN's Adele Mahrui talking to us live from Cairo, Egypt.